Hello, welcome to Sun Moon Star Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. These next four bell sounds are to align us and to bless this reading. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, and this is going to be for the month of January uh, 2021. Holy crap. And this is just going to be your overall reading, all right? So we're going to see what we're going to focus on this month, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So spirit, please. Scorpio spirit, I guess. Uh, what do you want? All right. To focus on here. Here we have success. All right. So this is going to be around success career this month. It's going to be what is your main focus uh, for you? And obviously the love came out too, so it's there for sure, but definitely around your success and your money this week. I mean, excuse me, this month. Sorry, I thought someone was coming up my driveway. So I just looked out or road, whatever. Anyways, energy for January 2021 for Scorpio around success. Energy, thank you. All right, so here we have the Hermit. And this is your old war energy, by the way. Five cards. We have Nine of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords, beautiful. I was hoping for some more like vibrant energy after this Knight of Swords moment. We have Death, oh beautiful. Yes, your energy coming through, Scorpio. We also have Virgo energy on the board here. Going within, finding the answers um, by suspending yourself and becoming less active and more uh, passive, like. And one more, please. And I'm getting a lot of gray here, so it may seem like a lot of grayness around your career. Oh, a lot of like, two of swords energy, you know? Uh, just a lot of like, I don't know. Two of swords, eight of cups, moving on from that. Queen of pentacles, so I'm take queen of pentacles energy, three of wands. Having that overall, uh, like, overall expansive energy. And then clarifying, we have temperance, which is beautiful, more yellow energy. More solar plexus, some action. Uh, being clarified by the wheel of fortune. So this is change. So movement into balance, particularly around your thoughts around your business and how you feel about your business, but thoughts and feelings balancing themselves out uh, as far as what's coming overall. Um, there is an energy of transformation, so there's, this could be um, monetary gain. But I'm getting this is more so of a mental journey for you this month regarding uh, your success. Uh, you could be an entrepreneur uh, or just simply be in corporate and kind of like trying to move up or even change careers. So there is some indication of just a beautiful transformation, transformation happening this month around your career. And this is around perhaps letting go of fear. I'm going to use my Elf Shows In uh, to clarify. I was going to use the bear, this the Twin Flame, but Oracle. But I'm going to use actually this deck here. We have again coming in Queen of Pentacles. This one fell out. Knight of Pentacles slowing down. Uh, this is a journey. Rome wasn't built on a day. You have to be able to enjoy the journey to enjoy the results. It's like kind of when you're exercising, you know? You enjoy the results that you get, but you feel amazing when you're done exercising. You should feel mentally clear. So this is kind of just that same energy. God, this is like crooked. I'm always crooked. Excuse me. Really sorry about that. It's a sore eyesore. I know. I know. Um, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four cards to clarify. Here we have existence. That's the magician. So you believing that you can really manifest this. There again, this is there is some fear um, around this manifestation, around your success, around your business. You have to believe. You have to step into the magician role. You have to believe uh, that you can do this. All right. Yes, you are successful. You can have success, but do you believe this? You are successful. And you have two cards here with the word success on them, okay? 
So double confirmation, you are successful. You can be successful. You just simply have to put in that like, you know, like I'm getting kind of like, it's almost like building a car, like the assembly line in a way. Like you have step one, step two, step three, and you have to enjoy that process. It kind of like the exercising uh, metaphor coming in again. We have letting go. Uh, what does need to be let go here, spirit? Thank you. You have turning in upside down. And then we have aloneness coming in again. So there may be some preconceived notions that you have around what it takes to be successful. And this is definitely that energy of transformation and that new thought pattern as well. So it might even not be fear per se, but it may just be a limiting, a limited belief that does not serve you in the current business that you're in. For example, I am in the tarot business, right? Um, and there are like tons, plenty of tarot channels on uh, YouTube, right? So I have to suspend my belief and know that my passion and what I love doing, which is which are cards, um, I have to believe and I have to let go of limiting beliefs like, oh, my channel is small. Oh, like just anything that my ego tells me, um, I have to let it go. All right. I have to suspend myself in this aloneness, which you have twice here. Uh, so Virgo energy is heavy around your spread this month. Uh, but yeah, just turning inward and releasing because four cups is all about them like that really boring um monotonous kind of just like the day-to-day -day, like you kind of repeat everything like you repeat the day it's letting go of it's kind of like suspending routine in a way but like in favor of something that serves you so perhaps your current you have outgrown your current routine whatever that is and you are being called and inspired to expand on where you are but you there's definitely an energy of success around you and you also have traveling here as well so you may be traveling and i'm just going to take one the first one that fell out we have integration here uh and the reverse this is temperance actually in the reverse so there definitely is a lack of balance um pertaining to this wheel of fortune moment here pertaining to the balance itself and we do have abundance here that was what it was being clarified here so i guess they did want me to uh, put that on the board here but we do have death here again. So there's a lot of repeating energy here for sure for you. All right. So that was your clarifiers. But yeah, definitely like changing up some thought patterns here and bringing some more balance in. Because uh, this fear is doing nothing but holding you back. Your fear is holding you back. Your fear is holding back your success. Uh, and yeah, so... We're going to do, this is the overall of the month. So we're going to do current challenge for the month of January or Scorpio. I'm going to do three cards, something a little less. And again, I'm like trying to make this so it's not like, doesn't look crooked on camera and it's just, it's not working with me today. They're saying, no, we're not going to help you. Okay, that looks a little bit better. All right. Current challenge for Scorpio for the month of January. Current challenge. Thank you. All right, so there really is no challenge for you. Uh, but the challenge of being happy in a way. The, ch the challenge of deciding your happiness. Um, but God, you have the four wands being clarified by the sun. <laughs> that is victory. That is success. That is celebration. That is very, very high energy for sure. And getting that, there's an, I'm noticing again, there's like a lot of uh, darkness to light themes here as well. Uh, we do have like kind of like darker cards here and a lot of cards. This card isn't that dark, but we do have a two, two of swords here. And there's that lighter energy towards the end. So it's kind of a, this has been a journey for you. This has been a long journey for you towards your success. But again, knowing that you will be successful. Um, it's just on it. Your success is a matter of time, to be honest with you. Um. Just simply you putting in the work and letting go of this fear. One card for this fear, uh, this is just from here. We have the Emperor. A fear around your abundance, a fear around stability, fear around really believing if you can, if you can manifest um, in what you desire. But also fear that like you're doing the wrong thing. That just a lot of 
almost irrational fears but totally like ego projections so you need to get your ego to submit here you need, you need to get your ego under balance and control aries the emperor is someone who like relishes in control and someone who has control for sure um it is a very masculine force aries energy of the emperor energy so establishing that control um over your emotions over your fear right and Overall outcome for the month of January for success for Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. All right, so we have two of wands here. We have seven of pentacles. And we have queen of pentacles. Beautiful. Yeah, so you are deciding um, to take charge. And again, this may be a long journey because, we, again, we do have seven of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, and don't forget the Nine of Pentacles came out uh, with the Ocean of Zen here. Uh, so this may be a journey for you. Uh, so don't expect it to take, like, you know, like don't, it's kind of victorious in the hair. Slow and steady wins the race for you, my dear friend. Um, but abundance is your birthright. Abundance is present. Um, just simply you kind of like stepping into that. Because it's here, uh, especially when you shed the doubt. Two of Wands, please. Bring some more clarification, I guess. I guess I'm going to clarify the outcome here with my Twin Flame Oracle. Just so we can use multiple decks, get multiple perspectives. And yeah. Alright, so Scorpio, please clarify. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. For overall outcome. Your spirit is definitely going to find satisfaction in what I do doing. And it's always going to crave more. It's always going to like have... You are someone who is very, um, you are someone who is very, like, you love to explore, you love to kind of, like, knock on every door in a way. And so, like, knowing that you will never find complete satisfaction and what you're doing is kind of a necessary step for you to really step into this abundance. Um, there are so many things that you are put here to do. Uh, so just knowing that at this time. All right. And kind of like adjusting your expectations because you're kind of at that point to where it's like you can have whatever you want, Scorpio. Uh, you know that you are a, ma a master manifester. It's simple you believe in. So we do have third party here clarifying. God, I just love. Okay, some healing. And you have solitude. Hermit card energy. Bottom of the deck, we have mirroring, forgiveness, the answer is no, soulmate. Um, I think the answer is no is that doubt coming back in and that fear coming back in a mirroring because um, just you having a lack of faith around what you desire, you know? And it's the spirit coming in saying, stop having a lack of faith. Forgive yourself, forgive others, and move into this high energy of the soulmate. The soulmate is someone who lives their passion, someone who lives their dreams, all right? And this third party energy is really affecting you. What is else with this third party tribe? So this may be healing around um, your financial stuff, obviously, but obviously as well as your relations with others as well. All right, so three cards of advice for this overall month. We have like a lot coming out, so I wanna put everything back in. Oh, we shuffle, but I will show you what came out. We have all that glitters, higher power, time to go. Um, Observer came out, a change in the wind came out. So I'm gonna do oh, try to do a better job of shuffling. Like I said, my fingers a little broken right now. The shuffling is slightly difficult, but um, yeah, we have soulmate, thinker, kind of opposing energies there. Pragmatic. All right, three cards of advice for uh, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. So we have all that glitters coming back in again. As you need to stay aware of falsehoods around you, but also knowing that um, you know what's fake and you know what's not. You know, like you have this, you have the ability to discern. Basically, we have to the sea connecting with spirit at this time, Scorpio. To, but success definitely is your birthright. This is kind of what this overall thing is saying. And we have chaos and conflict. One more card, please. I don't like the way that ended. 
one more card of advice for Scorpio. So knowing that changes are coming your way this month. And it may feel like, may possibly leave you feeling like um, sad of a burden. But this is simply change. Change can be hard. And we, again, so we do have time to go. And then we do have time for a nap. So you need to take a mental rest, a mental pause. And then we have Morgan Honey on the bottom of the deck. Happy, happy. Round and round. This is your ever, your cycle is the cycle of abundance. And you need it to embrace that. But yeah. All right, so thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. If you found this video to be helpful, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do that I offer a powerful six-week material program around expanding your spirituality and getting more close with your intuition. If you're interested with that and work with me one-on-one, -on -one, everything you need to know is in the description box down below, including my landing page, www.spiritualgenia.com. You can book your free consultation call there. You can also follow me on Instagram at spiritualgenia, and you can book your one-to-one -one consultation call with me about your career, about your success, about your divine partnership at www thesummonsearchful.com. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching Scorpio. Namaste.